guys, it's iTech every week, and uh, I want to give a quick update to the jailbreak, uh, the, untethered, the untethered jailbreak for iOS 5. Um, last night, uh, the Chronic Dev team announced uh, this tool that they have uh, that allows like crash reports, uh, rather than having them be sent to Apple, uh, they'll be sent straight to the Chronic Dev team and then uh, analyze these crash reports, and, and that'll help them find the exploits and uh, hopefully find us an untethered jailbreak here uh, pretty soon. The program is only available for Mac right now, um, and it's in beta one stage right now. Uh, and uh, the Chronic Dev team member Poisex Ninja, or whatever his name is, I don't know how to pronounce it, but he said there will be a final release uh, within 24 hours uh, for both Mac and Windows. Uh, so we'll be seeing that here uh, soon. Uh, so if we scroll down a little bit more. There's a photo of the program right here, and it says the tool will fetch all crash reports um, if pre if there are any present, and then it'll send them it'll send them to the Chronic Dev team, not Apple. So that'll help them find. Um, an exploit from Untethered Jailbreak. And then you got a link right here for the Mac beta, and that just begins downloading right away. Uh, so I'll be notify you guys whenever there is a final release for Windows and Mac. Right now it is beta, but it will uh, get the job done. Uh, so if you guys want to go ahead and download this and help out the dev team, I definitely recommend if you're looking for an Untethered Jailbreak, or even if you're not looking for it, uh, to help us out to get the Untethered Jailbreak, go ahead and get this program and help the dev team find the exploits for the Untethered Jailbreak. So once that's installed, uh, you just have to unzip it, which I already did. Uh, it's right here now. Go ahead and open it up. I'll have to put in my password. And let's see here. And there we go. Here's the uh, the app right here, or program. Um, and it says the same thing. You can see it's the same exact thing. And all you have to do is go ahead and plug in your device. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So I just plugged in my device. Um, and you can see here in a little bit, I recognize it. There you go. And it's it says exactly what software you're running and... Uh, what and what device you have, um, and also it'll take your iTunes, whatever crash reports iTunes has, it also send those to the dev team uh, rather than Apple. Also, so go ahead and just hit do it, and I got an error and it said could not upload crash report. So I'm not sure how to fix that, but if you guys want to go ahead and try it out for yourself, go ahead and do it. Um, I'll probably try to figure this out and, and see if I can figure this out. Um, actually, it looks like it's working now. It's uploading them all right now. So let's see. There we go. All right. So actually, the first time it, it, it didn't work, but the second time you can see, uh, I just uh, did it. Now I would recommend um, doing this. Like I I hit it once. More crash reports will be created. Uh, so I would do this maybe like once a week at least. Um, you can do it more if you want. At least I would do it once a week. Uh, but that is it, guys. This will definitely help out the uh, the dev team with Untethered Jailbreak. So I highly recommend getting in this program and doing it. And I'll update you guys when there is a version released uh, for Windows along with the final for Mac. And before I end this video, there was more stuff than just this um, this program that that gives uh, the dev team the exploits. Uh, if you go back on the Redmond Pi site, they have uh, more than just that. Let's see here. Um, they released a new jailbreak program called Acid Snow. And uh, so Acid Snow uh, is the same exact thing as Red Snow and Snow Breeze. It jailbreaks uh, iOS 5. Still a tethered jailbreak with, as, with Acid Snow. It'll still be a tethered jailbreak. Uh, the only difference is, I know if you're using uh, Red Snow, I don't know if they updated this or not. I have Red Snow 0.9.9 Beta 8, I believe. Yeah, right here. That's the newest one that I know of. Uh, and you have to browse and select your, you have to select your, you have to go to Extras and then select your IPSW before you can jailbreak. And if you scroll down, this Acid Snow, it looks like you have to. There's no option to even browse for it. So, so apparently you do not have to download uh, the firmware and point Redstone towards it. And a lot of people have been having problems with Red Snow. I've been getting constant comments on my videos uh, of people having problems with Red Snow uh, not working or something. And I believe it's because they're not selecting the right firmware. So this will solve the problem. It just will, you can completely have to skip that step and you won't have to do it. All you have to do is uh, download Acid Snow and it gives you the instructions right here on the website. It's very simple. All you have to do is connect it to your computer. Um, also, this program is only available for Mac right now. Uh, it will be to Windows, um, I would assume, in the future. Uh, I'm not sure when, uh, but I would assume this would be available for uh, Windows also in the future. But this is only for Mac right now. Anyway, so you connect your device to your, uh, your Mac computer, and then you open up the program. You turn off your device. Uh, you click on Show Assistant, and then you click on Show Assistant right here, and then you'll follow the on-screen instructions to... Um, enter DFU mode. Now I already know how to enter DFU mode. If you don't know how, then you just hit show assistant and it'll show you exactly how. Um, I might do a video on this. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I'll think about it. 
But people have been saying that Red Snow uh, jailbreaks better uh, than this would. Uh, this would be easier just because you don't have to download the uh, the software. But Red Snow uh, supposedly has a more of a steady jailbreak uh, than this supplies you with. But after you enter DFU mode, you just go ahead and uh, you press jailbreak and it'll jailbreak your device. Um, and then after it boots up, you have to do the same thing, enter DFU mode again and then hit tethered boot. And then that'll boot it up and that's... You have to do that both on Redstone and this because it is a tethered jailbreak. Uh, so I'll think about doing a video on this. I'm not sure if I will or not yet, but I just want to. But I just want to cover this, guys, and let you know that this has been released. The program that will send the crash reports and uh, assets to the new jailbreak program. Um, and I also do want to say if there are any people saying like I don't want you guys to fall into any traps. People have been saying like there's unfair jailbreaks and stuff like this, and there's new jailbreak programs. I just know it's a legit jailbreak program. Uh, but half of them they've been coming up with, uh, like Acid Rain or something like that, or, or, or I can't remember what they were, but um, there are some fake jailbreaks out there saying that there was an iOS 5 untethered jailbreak, uh, and that program would do it, uh, but they're fake. There's no untethered jailbreak out. I just don't want you guys to fall into a trap like that. If a jailbreak, I'll have coverage on it, um, along with the other YouTubers, the big YouTubers, or the Redmond Pie website will definitely um, also have the post when there's an untethered jailbreak out. You can follow uh, Redmond Pie, uh, follow their post and see if uh, there's a new post on it, or follow me on Twitter, or uh, subscribe top, and you'll be notified uh, in any of those ways. And uh, if you do any of those three things, you'll eventually see that there's an Untethered Jailbreak out. Uh, the best way to do this is either follow me on Twitter or subscribe, because, because on Twitter I'll definitely uh, be retweeting or tweeting out when it is, and I'll definitely have coverage on a video uh, right away uh, when this is released. So either one of those, if you want to check out the Redmond Pie website, um, they'll have it up there too, but you will never know. You'll have to keep you'll have to keep checking back. So so if you guys want to download either one of these programs, I'll have links in the description to the Redmond Pie website, uh the, the those two posts and um you can download them right on the website right here is the link uh for Acid Stone. I showed you guys the other link for the uh for the crash report sender. That's it for this video guys. I just want to go ahead and notify you of this and uh, give you some information on Taylor Jailbreak. Uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And if you have any questions or anything, go ahead and comment down below and I will respond to you shortly. If you guys enjoyed this video and you got some worthy information out of it, go ahead and like it down below. And uh, you can subscribe up top and be notified again uh, when the Untethered Jailbreak is released, along with my other videos. So that's it guys, I'll catch you in the next video.